God will give you more peace and relaxation after this prayer. God ultimately wants us to enjoy peace always. Knowing how much peace and tranquility can enhance and facilitate our fellowship with God and our worship of Him. He devised a plan for us, among other things, as a reward for following and believing in Him. For I know the thoughts that I have toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. God's plan for His children has always been one of peace and all-around rest of mind. Because God understands and knows the worth and value of peace in the lives of people. Total peace has always been one of the most sought-after desires of all living. And God knows and understands that. And that is why He has included peace in His plans for us. He stated in the scripture we read that peace is His plan or thought for us. As we pray today, God is going to bring this peace into your heart, your home, your family, and your relationships. In the name of Jesus Christ, He is going to judge the agents of unrest and restiveness in your life. Whoever and whatever that says, you shall not know peace, God will bring them to judgment today. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the thing that is causing your lack of peace and rest of mind will be dealt with by God's mighty hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. For Jesus says, in John 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Therefore, the things that are challenging your enjoyment of divine rest and peace, are opposing the plan and the will of God for you. And they must be stopped. For the word of God has already stated it clearly in Matthew 15, verse 13, that every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. So anything that is opposed to our having peace and living a peaceful life, is opposing and challenging God's power and authority. And therefore shall come under God's judgment now, as we pray. And the God of peace will restore peace to every troubled soul under my voice right now. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God shall bring peace to every troubled area of your life, including your family, your business, and your career, by all means. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O Lord our God, you promise us peace by all means. O Lord, this is your word. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. The Lord be with you all. 2 Thessalonians, chapter 3, verse 16. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, whoever is under my voice right now, I decree peace, to every troubled area of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree peace and declare the return of peace in the homes, marriages, businesses, careers, and every area of the lives of my listeners that needs peace. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any depression and anxiety in your life are now completely gone, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree the restoration of peace, love, harmony, and conviviality to every home, marriage and relationship. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, because your plan for us is peace, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every storm in my listeners' lives, their health, businesses, careers, relationships, studies, vocations, and avocations, to cease now, and let peace return and be still. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree, peace be still, peace be still, peace be still. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree the return of peace into every soured marriage, the return of peace into every soured relationship, and the return of peace into every tensed and tensioned area of the lives of my listeners. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, give them all round peace, as you promised in your word of Ezekiel chapter 34, from verses 25 through 26, saying, I will make a covenant of peace with them, and cause wild beasts to cease from the land, and they will dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. I will make them and the places all around my hill a blessing, and I will cause showers to come down in their season, there shall be showers of blessing. Father, let this be the lot of all my listeners. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, enforce and establish your covenant of peace with them, such that they can now sleep peacefully without concerns about negative occurrences, or the fears of evil eventualities in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Lord, for those under the bondage of the spirit of guilt and fear, I cast out such spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree freedom and liberation for them from the spirit of fear and guilt, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bring your children before your throne of grace, for you called them to come in Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 through 30. Lord, you said, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Lord, as they have come, do unto them as you promised. Give them the rest as you promised O Lord, let them find rest in their souls, in the name of Jesus Christ. Give them peace and rest from their survival struggles by providing everything they need and will ever need. In accordance with Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, where your word says, And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, I ask for an abundance of these supplies for your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. From now Lord, let them always be the heads and no longer tails. Let them be lenders and not borrowers. Let them always be above, rather than beneath. Lord, let no evil befall your children, nor shall any plague come near their dwelling. Lord, give your angels charge over them to keep them in all their ways. Lord, answer them whenever they shall call upon you, be with them even in the time of trouble, deliver them, and honor them. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these things I pray for and ask of you, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. If you enjoy this prayer, subscribe and share it with your loved ones and friends on social media. May God bless us all.